All right, so you lot say you want to see some more train videos. Okay, so today we're underneath the train today and we are changing the um, the duplex dump valve. This is basically like ABS in your car when the train goes into braking mode. If um, some of the wheels are turning slower than the other ones, it will release that brake on that wheel to prevent the train from skidding. So that's what that does. So we've got to change that for the new ones here. Here it is. There's a new one. All right, let's get started. So before we start, before we start, it's gonna lube it up. Put some lube on it. Bit of lube is always good. WD-40. Yeah, quite a few of you said you want to see more train videos. So here you go, here you go. Some more train videos for you. Alright, so there's an electrical connector at the bottom. They call this a litten plug. Undo that. And all the air has been drained out the system, all the air. So, should be safe to take off now the pipes. So we have to do these mountain bolts now. We're going to crack them first with the ratchet. Then put the battery ratchet on it. out so this can calm down now so what we've got to do we've got to take these fittings off and replace the seals then screw these fittings onto the new valve and see there's a kit there duplex dump valve and there's the o-rings we got to get these seals off. We've got to change that one as well. that down so this is all prepared now and this is ready to go up there been bolted on now but the technique is, is to put the pipes in first then you bolt it up Get the other two pipes in now, loosely. Now what I've got to do, I've got to put these bolts in there to secure it, but as you can see, the holes don't quite line up and it's a bit stiff. So I'm going to use my broken screwdriver that I've ground it down to a point to lever it up to line them holes up. Very good tool that underrated tool. I think it was an old snap-on screwdriver that I found in the skip. I'm sure it's yeah it's snap-on I think. Oh 
Okay, we got one in. Try and get the other one in now. Alright, got them in now. Squeeze them up. Alright, let's talk them up. Let's get a talk wrench. Alright, we're back around the front now to finish off tightening up these pipes. Okay, all them pipes are tight now. We've got an ERT, an ERT connection here. We have an ERT, ERT connection. Earth, ERT. Yeah, you don't want to use a power tool on this. You don't want to go too mad on that. You don't want to go too mad on that. It's only an M6. M6 10 mil. I give it a nip up. Now I'll put this plug in now. Call this a litten plug. So he's got a notch at the bottom. And the notch is at the bottom there. And when you screw it in, you have to feel the click. If you don't feel the click, that means it's not in properly. Sometimes you can air it. If you can't air it, you can feel it. So I don't quite have enough grip to grip that. Put my glove, so I'm going to use my blue point soft draw pliers. Try and focus. Yeah, I'm going to use these. Yeah, I feel like you can't hear it. Well, I, I can hear it. I don't think you could hear it from the camera mic. But that is in now. And to make sure it's in. Yeah, two dots have lined up. Yeah, that's in. All right, so we've got uh, the next half of the unit to do, train to do. We've got a couple of more of them to do. With the old one, I've got to write the serial number onto the label. Because I get sent off to be um, overhauled by another company. So we also put a white mark in it. They call it a witness mark. So when they're doing their inspections, they can see if the bolt has turned or not. Due to vibrations. Vibrations. Oh yeah, let me whip this mark the earth, the earth as well. That's one of the rules on trains. All the bolts have to be witness marked. Alright, so that's that one is done now. We're gonna walk over to the next one. Alright. Let's go to the next one. So this one is going to be a bit harder. There's not as much space on this one because you've got the wiring loom for the main traction motor. But we can still do it though, we can still do it. We can still get to it, but as you can see, look, it's right there. Yeah, look, look this bloody wiring loom in the way. And like even behind it, look, you've got the brake resistor behind it as well. So there's a lot of less space on this one. All right, let's get on with it. All right, okay. All right, so with these dump valves, you have two per coach. One on either end of the coach. And this is a four, this is a four coach train. Now, 
with that out. Alright, let's put some O rings on these pipe fittings. Right, let's get the other one. Well, this one ain't got O ring on this one. The O ring goes on the actual valve bit. Put one up there. Alright, let's go to the next one. Someone else down there. Alright, this one. Slightly easier. As you can see, there's a lot more room on this one. Oh, it's you! Alright, so all these valves on this train have now been changed. All I've got to do now is test it, make sure it's not leaking, but we can only do that when this train is powered up and the compressor runs and we've got air in the system. What I'll do is I'll spray some leak detector onto the unions, make sure we don't get no bubbles. So. 
one job done for the Christmas. Over and out. I've been making my way out now. See, we're at the end of the train now.